I am Thais Corral, the founder of Sinaldo Valley. Sinal is a living laboratory for the transition to a resilient future. The name Sinal stands for Synchronicidade, Innovação e Alegria. Synchronicity, Innovation and Joy. In this video, we present our journey from being a learning community of international volunteers to becoming a school of change agents. Here at Sanal, we are the stewards of 400 acres of land in one of the most biodiverse and endangered ecosystems on the planet, the Atlantic Rainforest. Sanal is located in a valley in the hills of Rio de Janeiro, wedged between the Guanabara Bay and one of the largest reserves of the Atlantic Rainforest. Our priority here is to prevent further urban encroachment and deforestation in this critical land area. Since our founding in 2011, Sanal has received over 300 young people from around the world who have come to contribute their energy, passion, and hard work to building our projects and creating our culture. Each one has had a significant and unique life experience, learning about themselves and sustainability. I went to an American university and graduated last year and there I learned the theory and the models and uh, the technical skills about how to solve problems. But it wasn't really until I got to Sinal that I learned how to work with people. And you learn that to get anything done you have to work with a team, you have to work with other people that come from very different backgrounds and very different perspectives. In my time here I've seen hundreds of people come through Sinal. I've learned a great deal from people of different backgrounds here. It's been a real pleasure to work with both local Brazilians and the international group that we have here. It's been a lot of working with the earth and with other people really closely one-on-one -on -one, and it's so much more concrete than work at the university. I've been really privileged to have visited several organizations that are doing a great deal for reforestation here in the, the greater Rio area. Here you learn, you learn by doing, you learn by putting your hands and your heart into everything and Otherwise, you, you can't really get anything done in the world. Here, you really have to, you have to open yourself up to other people, other possibilities. We all have our own unique abilities and unique strengths. And when we're all on the same energy wavelength, we can really achieve wonderful things together. Our projects began in 2012. First with the building of the organic gardens and nature trails. And then with Sinal das Crianças an educational program for the children of the local schools. These were our first steps in our journey in building a curriculum to teach young people how to make their communities more resilient. Soon after, we started working to create more sustainable infrastructure by using recycled materials and natural resources like bamboo, straw, and mud. Most recently, we began reforesting the land of Sanal which is part of a federally protected area in Rio de Janeiro. We are pioneering a low-cost and innovative restoration method that can be adopted and scaled up by property owners throughout the Atlantic rainforest. With the support of the Fetzer Institute, an American foundation whose mission is to build the spiritual foundations of a loving world, we are now initiating a new cycle of Sanal, a school for change makers who are committed to catalyzing transformation in their communities. Through interviews and meetings with educators in the global field of generative leadership, we inquired into what young change agents need to learn in today's world. For me, an agent of transformation is that whisper of conscience within each and every one of us. We all have these agents of transformation inside us. Whether or not it is an agent that gathers a momentum and this whisper turns into a cacophonous cry, a voice that needs to be given voice, is up to us as well. But we're all agents of transformation. We've all got this agency within us. 
the essential training for leaders for a world that works is that they have inner self-knowledge to balance their outer action. I've seen such chaos created by world changers like myself driven by fear and anger who cause chaos because they haven't uh, they haven't resolved and worked through that inner material and unless we do that unless we carry uh, a daily practice of self-inspection and self-awareness with us in all we do we can do more harm than good I think that people need to experience directly a better way, something that works better than what they know and do already. So you need to create an action-oriented and experience-oriented environment in which they discover that you can run a company or a civil innovation organization or an educational a program in better ways. So my task is to pick people up where they are and then help them to go to the next level of their potential, whatever that may be. More than these skills of how can you speak in public, can you plan, can you command a room, I think young people need to remember the soft skills of being human. We can focus on the complex as much as the soft skills of being human. Ultimately, humanity has a problem of humanness. And if we forget the humanness in our humanity, Ubuntu, if you forget that, um, you're leading for something else but not for humanity. Um, and in, in our humanity, we must also remember that we're part of the community of life. But we are humans, we must start there and, and solving our human problems. Which links again to compassion. You know, then I stop seeing you as a Muslim or an American or a woman or a, a man or whatever your sexual orientation, but I come back to humanity. So how do we re keep reminding ourselves that our humanity is what connects us and in our leadership we must lead from that place of humanity, um, which is impossible without compassion and without love. Um, so if we're working with young people, we have to, we've dehumanized each other enough. How do we go back to the basics of humanity um, and stop seeing terrorists and capitalists and communists and other is and see human is maybe that's what we need to look at more than anything else. I think that the Sanal School for Agents of Transformation is a brilliant idea and it's going to be brilliant in reality. First of all, it's in Brazil and the Brazilian culture knows how to flow and flex and I think these times require people who know how to flow and flex and iterate and experiment and innovate and do it all with joy. Uh, I also think that it's located in the Atlantic rainforest and all of us on the planet understand that we need to revitalize, reforest the rainforest. And so the projects here, the concrete projects to create sustainable infrastructure, to reforest the, the landscape, to grow food organically, uh, all of these projects, to work with school children, to understand what real food is, all of the projects are actual concrete skills that people need to learn. And I also think that it's it's a wonderful place to learn the attitudes and social, emotional, relational intelligence we need in order to effectively do projects. So I think that the new way to do things is relational. It's working with people, with landscapes. It's working with ourselves and our own inner development, our frustrations, learning how to manage our own feelings and emotions and take responsibility for being mature human beings while working with people, notice, knowing how to speak clearly and listen with respect and mobilize people's inspiration, generate hope. These are all skills for Agents of Transformation and the Sanal School brings together those two streams of education, the practical skills and the inner skills in an environment that is beautiful, lush, vibrant and so much in need of care.
único que te pido al menos hoy Y dale alegría, alegría a mi corazón A que se encienda la luz de este amor